So you have a video, you have a screen, and you want to put the video on that screen. Actually, you want to put it on all screens, even the ones you don't have access to. So what do you do? You film some footage, track to surface, and replace the content with whatever you want. This way, you can decide everything in post and use Chroma King to overlay foreground details back in. And as long as you know a bit of tracking and have a camera, brain your footage in the newest version of Blender, you too can upgrade your phone in 3, 2, 1. So with Blender open, decompose the default cube, head over to the Movie Clip Editor, and import in your footage, making sure that the view transforms set to standard and that you match the project frame rate. We now need to track four different features on the screen, so for this shot, we'd use the corner of the display. For this one, we can choose four random features, and for this one, we can just use this pattern. Now, with our features selected, please track them all the way through the shot, and if you need a refresh on tracking, make sure to watch my SOG length motion tracking series. Finally, when you're done tracking, just select all four trackers, go to the solve panel, and hit create point track tag in our planar tracker. Note that this tracker actually sticks to our surface, and we can readjust the corners to fit the screen. For an even better fit, enable auto keyframe and manually correct the planar tracker every few frames so that Blender can interpolate between them. This fine tuning takes some extra time, but in the end, I think the results speak for themselves. And now that we're done tracking, we obviously want to use this data for our overlay. To do this, head over to the compositing workspace, replace the render layers node with a movie clip node set to our footage, and import in whatever overlay you want to use. Next, send this overlay through a point track to form node using the track we calculated earlier, and mix this with the background using an alpha over node. And so far, we're getting this result, which is almost usable, but as the final touch, just enable motion blur, where shutter affects how much blurring we get, and samples affects the quality of the blur. Finally, send our graph to the output node, choose some render settings you like, and render out the animation. For those of you who also want a chroma key, just use whatever method you want to key your footage, and use another alpha over node to put it in the foreground. This way we have our footage, our overlay, and our key all layered together in a way that makes sense. And there you go, another slow-paced beginner-friendly tutorial to try in the sewers. I've been CG Matter, you've been you, Bye bye